Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Click to subscribe Believing Beings and press the bell icon to get notified about new videos. My name is Carolina and I am a nurse. I study a lot differences between Islam and Christianity and I have I have lots of questions, but the main question I have at the moment, you said that Islam accepts Jesus as a messenger of God. And uh, Jesus, when was asked about divorce, if the man can divorce a woman, he said that Moses gave, us, gave the permission to divorce a woman only because of the hardness of the heart of the people. But Jesus said that a man cannot divorce a woman. A man should leave the father and the mother and join the woman, and they became one, one spirit in two bodies. So this for me is difference between what we believe, what I believe as a Christian, and what you believe as a Muslim people. Just asked the question, she said there are many differences. What she's quoting is a verse from the Bible from Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 5, verse yes. number 27 and 28. That's correct. And, and I'm giving you the quotation. What you said, sister, is in your own words, which is not verbatim. Yeah, what Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, it's in red letter. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 27, verse number 28, it has said of the old times that thou shalt give a bill of divorce. But I say unto you, whosoever looketh upon a woman, that it was an old time that thou shalt give a bill of divorce. But I say unto you that that whosoever looks at a woman to lust after has already committed adultery in his heart. There are two verses that thou shalt give a bill of divorce. But I say unto you that whoever whoever sleepeth with another woman shall give divorce. That means of the old law, sister, at the time of Moses, it was said that if you want to give divorce, give a bill of divorce. That's it. But Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says that you shall not give bill of divorce until your wife sleeps with somebody else. That means previously, at the time of Moses, divorce was allowed. To give a divorce, you give a bill of divorce. Now Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, a messenger of God, comes and changes the law. And he says that thou shall not give a bill of divorce unless, unless your wife sleeps with somebody else. So there is a change. In Islam, it is different. In Islam, sister, our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that amongst the permissible things which is the most hateful in the sight of God is divorce. Permissible, but the most hateful. That means in Islam, you can give divorce when required, when both husband and wife are not compatible. It does not mean that if the wife is bad, then you can give divorce, or if the husband is bad, then only can you give divorce. Maybe both are good, but they are not compatible. And we have many such examples. They were companions of the Prophet, male companions and female companions. We have the example of uh, Zayd, may Allah be peace with him. Along with another companion, a lady companion, Zainab, may Allah be peace with her. They were married, they both were good, they were not compatible. You can divorce. Or can be one is not good. Wife is not good. Husband can divorce. Husband is, is not good. The wife can take divorce, can give kula. So in Islam, it is not like the times of Moses, give a bill of divorce, khalas, easy. Or at the time of Jesus, peace be upon him, you cannot give divorce until your wife does fornication. In Islam, we have to weigh the pros and cons. And based on that, Or based on that, so Islam, the last and final messenger came and said, divorce is permissible, but as a last resort. And how to give divorce? The details are given. So that is the difference between the teachings of Moses, the teachings of Jesus, peace be upon him, and the teachings of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Hold that throws some light on the differences. Okay, thank you. So do you agree with me that marriage in Christianity and marriage in Islam is different? There are different rules? Yes, there are different rules. There are different rules. But which rule is better, sister? I I'm asking you a question. In, 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 in the time of Moses, anyone can get divorced. Khalas, good, bad, ugly. In, in Christianity, only if your wife is caught fornicating, you can give. In Islam, 
if you are incompatible you can give if they are not good you can give not just like that it is permissible but the most hateful in the sight of allah which would you prefer sister i prefer my religion and be with one man until the end of my life okay if the husband comes and hits you every day he drinks alcohol hits you every day blue and black your eyes turn black every day would you like to stay with him we can be separate but we cannot get married again that's different well, i'm asking you a question wouldn't you like to find some other life partner <laughs> we are not allowed if you made a mist no you are not i'm not asking whether you are allowed or not which is preferable for a human being in islam if you make a mistake in choosing a wrong partner i think i've got for my sister very good person i think is very good but after marriage he hits her he gambles he drinks alcohol black and blue i would say separate i'll give him chance try reconciliation separate she can marry in she can marry in the what was her fault what was her fault tell me why should my sister suffer what type of religion is this this is hard religion to Not be hard religion. Is this, no, my religion is hard. hard religion which is a logical religion and today today but natural we have to have husband and wife they have to be correct medically you should get married otherwise if you separate what happens in america you know what happens in america in america according to statistics every person man and woman they have eight different sexual partner before they settle down with them the statistics do not say how many they have after they get married eight some have five some have ten some have twenty it is human nature so now if you say you'll separate what will you do so that is the reason islam prevents the woman from going on the wrong track or the man from going on the wrong track divorce marry again what is wrong if you make a mistake it's so easy it's so easy sorry it's so easy it's easy it's easy not easy it's a test you know test. for us what, it's a test for all life what sister what fault is it of yours if your husband i mean your husband may be very good hope i'm just giving hypothetical example that if he does not treat you well if he treats you if he hits you black and white and yet you want to be his wife what is the logic what time of religion is this isn't it illogical this is a religion of love love he's hitting you what love is him that i will be with him until the And but you're not going to separate. You're not with him also. I can pray for him. I can pray, you can pray and even, ask God to can, change the heart of this pray, man. You can even pray after marrying someone else. You can't pray. But In I want to religion. pray for my husband. Oh, you can pray for your husband and your ex-husband also. In Islam, you can do that. Pray we all your... we all pray for my dad, and he change after thirty years of being alcoholic. He changed. Alhamdulillah, Allah gave him hidayah. Correct. And my mom never gave up until he died. Very good. Thirty years we all pray. Very good. And it wasn't easy. She she might say no. I want to marry somebody else. But do you mean to say if you marry, you cannot pray for your ex-husband? Well, What kind of a religion is this? It's not a religion of love. In us, we can pray for thousand people. Religion of love. I wish I wish all Muslim pray for ex-wives and ex-husbands. Why not? Why not? I wish. I have only one wife, mashallah. She's good. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, sir. Most welcome.